let's continue our exploration about Windows 11. And today, we will try to set up Windows 11 in Azure VM. Also, we try about the multimedia capability, yeah, and we try about it network speed. Before that, don't forget to subscribe so you will not miss any video and you will get notification when new video is published. Okay, let's get started. To create Windows 11 VM, let me start by open Azure portal. First, virtual machine, and then create virtual machine. So resource group, we just use existing or you can create one. Virtual machine name, just rename it Windows 11. Yeah. For region, since I located in Indonesia, uh, I will I will select the nearest one, it, which is the Southeast Asia. For availability option, just select the no, no infrastructure. So we'll, we'll get the cheapest option. For the image, uh, we need to find Windows 11. Okay, search for Windows 11. Yeah, it will show the Windows 11 preview. Okay, there is several options for Windows 11. So we'll choose the, the one that Windows 11 Enterprise Preview Gen 2. Okay. And then uh, leave it uh, empty for other spot there. Yeah. For the size, let's see uh, the size that we can use. Okay, I prefer using for core. So this is a general uh, general purpose. So I will use D series and then I will use the four core and 60 gigabytes memory. Select, okay. For the username, enter your username and password, yeah. This is the one that you will use for uh, login into Windows 11. Okay. Make sure you enable the RDP, RDP inbound port. By default, it's got enabled by Azure, yeah. And then, uh, since I'm having Windows 11, uh, Windows 10 Enterprise License, I'm eligible for uh, multi-tenant hosting, yeah, uh, or it's also named as VDI. So check this one. Okay, for the disk, next is the disk. Okay, you can uh, you have a three option here for the standard uh, hard disk drive, standard SSD or premium SSD. Since we only use it for uh, uh, testing purpose, yeah. I think premium SSD, even it's uh, the most expensive one. Yeah, it's okay. Okay. Let just let edit everything as default. Yeah, for other one. Yeah, and then we can preview and create. Oh, there's some validation failed. Let's see what uh, what problem. Okay, oh, unmet password. Okay, after fix this, let's just directly to review and create. It will show the pricing in your currency, yeah. In my case, it's using Indonesia rupiah. It's about three thousand ish per hour. Okay, let's create it. A few moments later. Okay, we are done creating the VM. Yeah, let's go to the VM detail. I'll go to resource. Okay, you can see the IP for the VM. We try to connect using. Uh, MSTSG remote desktop connection. Okay, so first we enter the IP, copy, paste the IP, uh, remote desktop. Okay, connect. 
it will asking for username password that previously we enter when we creating the VM. Okay. Just enable check this one so it will not asking again. Okay, let's we wait for first running setup. Okay, we done with the Windows 11 setup. Yeah. Okay, just enable just let every setting as default. Yeah. And we here. This is Windows 11 in Azure VM. Okay. Let's see about this version. Okay, this one is version for Windows 11 2020 000 Okay, this is not the latest one. Maybe left behind about one or two weeks. Yeah. Okay. Now let's we do uh, Windows update. Okay, go to setting. Okay, apparently this window is not activate yet. Yeah, so I will enter my activation key. Okay, to enter the activation key, plus change and then uh, paste your activation key here. Yeah, next and then activate. The activation key that I was used is Windows Enter Windows Ten Enterprise with version of. 1803 yeah that's maybe like four years old uh, windows 10 enterprise so basically you can use windows 10 enterprise key into the windows 11 enterprise okay activated yeah now let's do a windows update and as you see there is an update for the latest one which version is 160 yeah let's do download now a few moments later okay we're done updating the windows let's see the current version of uh, windows currently windows 11 uh, build 160 okay okay uh let's see what we have here let's retry for the themes yeah Let's sign in. Okay, let's enable it so it will uh, integrate into the Windows account, uh, Microsoft account into the Windows account. Yeah. Uh, okay. And this is the themes for Windows 11. Okay. Well, I haven't do anything in themes other than my company's themes. Yeah. So it will show empty here. Okay. Let's we open the store. Yeah, since previously we logged in into the uh, Microsoft account. Yeah, it also integrate into the Microsoft account. Okay, and then now let's we uh, update every software in this. Uh, oh, it's a lot of things. It's already updated. Yeah. Okay. Apparently everything is already up to date. Okay. Okay, let's we start several experience about multimedia. Let's we open YouTube. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's enter my YouTube channel. Okay. Okay. Let's we try to play one or two video. Uh, just play this one. Yeah. This one is a uh, 1080p 30 fps video. Okay, let's set it as a uh, 1080p. Okay. 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 
The experience is not really smooth. Yeah. I think it's below uh, 30 FPS. Well, it's understandable because when we do a remote desktop, we usually not do a multimedia. Yeah, we pre uh, more about we do some uh, light activity or office activity. Okay. Okay. How about we try to do a speed test? Okay. Let's we do some speed test here. Go to the uh, how about my republic? Okay, go. Okay, nice. One Gbps, one point five Gbps, two Gbps. How about the uplink? Also around two Gbps, okay, two point half Gbps. Okay, that's how we set up Windows Eleven in Azure VM. Also, we try about the multimedia experience and network speed. That's it for today.